Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Pixelated Apollo, and we are playing Tug of War. This is game 14, and I'm playing against the most hated man on Earth, Jackie Fish. The most hated dwarf on Earth. I think oh, that's right. That's oh, right. God. I'm so ready. So I finally pushed you back from a field battle. It's been a long yes. time. We haven't been back to this castle since Kazrik's, Kazrik's pitiful death. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we made some improvements. It's oh. a lot bigger now. Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm looking forward to taking it. I'm probably, oh, well. probably downsizing it again, you know, killing a few <laughs> elven maidens who are, you jerk. Who are around. I mean, At least have them around to make cookies or something. <laughs> cookies, yes. Cookies. <laughs> um, but yeah, you won a lot of money yeah, last game. Yeah, I had game, a lot of money. And you have 34,490, and I have 27,255. Yes. Pretty big difference. So I have like a nice 7k gold difference. Yeah. And you're definitely going to need it because you are attacking. Yeah, for uh, sure. But this battle is for 7,560. So a huge amount. It, it's kind of good because on either side, whoever wins this battle is really going to help them out. Because if you win, it kind of definitely narrows the gap and kind yeah, of gives you yeah. a nice advantage I can in push the field you battle. Back. Whereas if I win, it gives me an extra 4k gold to spend on guards of Kazakh Doom in, in the yeah. final battle. So. Yeah, and we've never gotten this far in tug of war, like this late in tug yeah, of war. So we probably should change now. up the late game rules, uh, because the money and like the amount of elite troops is kind of ridiculous. So probably gonna fix that in the next tug of war. But uh, you want to go ahead and check out the army comps? Yeah, go for it. All right, cool. We'll start with my elves because they're perfect in every single way. Um, <laughs> they seem to be when they're dead. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Good talk, good talk. <laughs> um, I upgraded my Sylvan Heavy Swordsman, so I do have some pretty good swords. Uh, but I am bringing a decent amount of Axemen to help, you know, destroy your your armor, you know, penetrate that armor. Yeah. I do have a couple catapults. They are going to be absolutely vital in this game. Some spears to hold the line, and of course, some archers. Yeah, it's weird. The, uh, the defender has catapults and the attacker does not. Because yeah, obviously, I haven't spent any upgrades of mine on... Uh, catapults or ballistae, so it's going to yeah. be a very difficult battle. So my army, for my upgrade, I went ahead and got some guards of Kazakh Doom, and I'm super excited to try these bad boys out, because I've never actually properly used them, or at least this many of them, in a battle before, so it's going to be pretty pretty exciting. So I bought a whole bunch of them, a load of Iron Guard, uh, four, oh units, boy. four units of Dragon Slayers, and some crossbowmen to help me out. And obviously Iron Brow's got his Dwarven Nobleman, so, this is a very large army. I have a lot of men in this army. <laughs> sure. So, there you go. There you have it. And, uh, are you ready to begin the slaughter yes, of I'm, dwarves? I'm ready to burn your city to the ground for Kazarik. We're going to reclaim his bones. Alright, let's do it. Cool, let's go. Alright, so finally we've got the right settlement now. I guess if you put custom culture, it puts you on the black gate. I don't know how that works, but, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and start this. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my gods of Kazakh Doom look so beasty. Because we oh saw how many, uh, how many casualties my Iron Guard took when they took, like, the entire Olven arsenal of, of archers. And they only dropped, like, two men. So hopefully my gods of Kazakh Doom can do just as much against arrows. Yeah, maybe. Here's my Iron Guard. This is going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty intense. Yeah, to say the least. If only I had catapults, it would make this so much easier. <laughs> yeah, you probably win. Yeah, maybe. Elves. Lots and lots of elves. So if you defeat me in this tug of war, my elves will become your slaves and they'll make <laughs> shoes and cookies. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be nice because us dwarfs have a lack of shoes and cookies, so. Uh, that's probably true. Sorry. I'm probably gonna take a little while just because I'm having quite a, a spread out attack. That's fine. Take your time. People will just probably skim through this, anyways. <laughs> just wanna see the slaughter. Yeah, me deploying my men very slowly probably isn't the most enjoying, <laughs> most uh, most uh, exciting thing to watch. Yeah, on YouTube. it's my favorite part of Total War. Oh. So. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, he's moving his troops over here and over there. And then when the battle starts, it's like, yeah, this is okay. <laughs> do, 
worth in scum. Get my crossbows up, and then I think I am ready to go. Alright. Stick some stakes down because why not? I'm not gonna yeah, make a typical. Have to have. I'm not gonna make a typical pixelated Apollo mistake. Here we mistake, go. Like Here first, we go. Like the first battle. Yeah, there you uh, go. Uh, good old tug of war episode one. <laughs> that was so funny. I literally <laughs> just slowed it down and replayed it after you said it in that in my, in my <laughs> version of the video. Because this is what you say as well. You say it quite smugly. You're like, haha, the dwarfs and cavalry just don't go. I know. Together. I was like, Ew, and I'm literally scum. staring at like five units of cavalry. Perfect. God. If only this was like a Tiller or a Rome and my, my men are actually in the siege towers. Pre oh, I know, I know. It'd be so much nicer. Oh my god. There's no room. Yeah, good. That's to... what I'm hoping. You have to push people out. I mean, you can think about defending, or at least like trying to hold back one of the sides where I'm. Yeah, I really I'm, should. I'm like pushing, like one of where one, one of my weaker assaults are, because I'm assaulting from three ways, so they're not all going to be as strong as each other. That is true. Or are they? Or God. are they? I just want to see these guards of Kazakh Doom in action. Their axes are actually really, really big. You wouldn't think it, but when they shake it around pretty big, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Dragon Slayer is looking beautiful. Oh my god. This is taking forever. Yeah. Large Sorry. scales. Yeah, large scale makes, you know, these small settlements difficult. But it also okay. makes it so that your uh, catapults don't just like one hit a unit because they get like a decent <laughs> hit and there's only like two people in the unit. Yeah, it's true. Alright, I'm ready. Let's just do this. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god, you're disgusting. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to say. Uh, it's called strategy? It's called I'm disappointed in you. Good. I imagine if I had some like long range artillery right now. Just some like something like from Call of Warhammer. Just some oh, yeah. I mortars. wouldn't do this though. If you had yeah, long obviously. Range. It just looks disgusting. It is disgusting. And, you know, it's very unfortunate that I have to stoop to these levels, but... You're the just, worst type of person. It's just what you gotta do these days if you wanna win. True that. There's no room. Catapults! I had catapults, I'm counting on you. I wonder if my uh, crossbowman can hit you from the walls. Uh, I think so in some parts. Because that would be interesting if they could. Yeah, that would be interesting. It's not really going to do much, but okay. Hey. You don't know hey. that. I do know that. Oh, this is some high quality uh, commentary right here. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting Texas. No more Texas! We'll bring my crossbowman to there. So how far along this are you gonna defend? Is that where you're, you're sticking? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, you worry about your side, and I'll worry about my side. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm just glad you don't have a catapult. Yeah. I'm sad I don't have a catapult. <laughs> I would be too. Catapults but are awesome. On the upside, I'm not receiving any fire from these towers, which is pretty nice. That's true. Because obviously you're not uh, manning them, so these towers aren't actually shooting at me right now, which is pretty nice. Do you have some archers firing, though? Yes. I probably do. could have stayed and gotten a couple kills. I just don't think it's worth it. I'm not yes. going to risk like getting stuck in pathfinding. I think, I think it's, it's much better to be fully prepared than like getting an extra couple kills and being a little bit more like rushed, like having to quickly look, making sure you're all de all like uh, defended in all the places. Yeah, that's true. Whereas, you know, this way, you, you know you are, you don't have to be worrying it, you can take it a bit slower. Yeah. I'm just so glad the dwarves don't have composite bows. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty brutal. <laughs> they should though, I mean, the like dwarves are above composite bows, like no! Like, 
It's not as complicated as a crossbow. Yeah, well, in Warhammer, they're gonna have some bad boy gyrocopters just chilling oh, around. Oh, yeah, so. some, like, helicopters, pretty much. Yeah, which is gonna be epic. That I, I just can't wait to play yeah. them. I can't wait to play a Warhammer 2. What, what it's gonna faction, be amazing. What fa what's gonna be your first online battle in Warhammer? Ooh, I, you know, honestly, I wanna just take out the green skins and, yeah. and just, like, bring trolls and spiders and... Oh, awesome. I don't know, like, every faction is really cool, and then we haven't even really seen uh, yeah, the vampire dead. accounts. Yeah, for sure. Or at least I haven't. No. Yeah, no one has yet, so... Yeah. It's gonna be uh, pretty exciting when we do get to see them. Yeah, oh my god. When I get my hands on that game, I'm gonna be <laughs> yeah. like, non existent. Yeah, for sure. It's like friends and family. Like, where'd he go? <laughs> he locked himself in. Yeah, people are pretty people are pretty upset about the whole campaign stuff and Yeah, I, I honestly like I think they know what they're doing, you know, they're an award winning company. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure their I decisions mean, are gonna be good. Like as long as the game like has enough gameplay to to last all that time you know whereas you'd normally yeah. be taking over the world as long as there's still enough gameplay which would also not taking over the world I they've never done anything like this so exactly. you got to give them like some you just got to let them make the game and and then exactly. look at and then they can always make improvements they've, they've said that this is a, a free um, three yeah it's free a good. installment free game so you know if the first game has some problems they can just fix it in the in the next one so yeah, yeah. Or they can try to listen to their, you know, fans or... Yeah, exactly. Just take that feedback from the first game and then decide yeah. what they want to do. God, just taking this nice and slow as there's no rush. Yeah, there's no rush. I can there's just no get rush. all my men as far up as I can so that no one's really ill-supported. And then just yeah. try my best to assault. You don't want to rush to your death, you know? <laughs> exactly. I mean, well, because obviously we, we've seen the amount of men we've had because Apollo did the wrong map. So we know that I have 500 more men we than have him. Captured the enemy's yeah. Wars, which is yeah, pretty you, crazy. It's crazy. That's a Gateway lot. last. But then again, what does that matter when there's only three entrances into the city, you know? So. That's true. You're defending. <laughs> what do numbers matter? Ma numbers matter not. Elves do not ask how many, but well, where they are. <laughs> what I should have done is just on a Caesar and built another wall around you. With what? Uh, done a done Caesar at, at Alicia. Oh, yeah. He builds yeah. a wall. That's what I should have done, because I've already taken the outer, the actual outer you walls. You should. So if I just built another wall like around all these buildings, I'll just starve you out. You know what you could also do, and I probably shouldn't be telling you this because I think it's a pretty cool idea and it'd probably help you out a lot. <laughs> when you get catapults and yeah. you can bring down the walls, just yeah. push forward the siege towers and use them as a giant shield against oh, my yeah. arrows. I, I was planning to do that. I've, oh, watched, okay. I've watched your online videos and, oh, okay. and I, I already got that tip. Don't worry about that. All right, good. I'm glad. Cool. Everyone's pretty much almost in position now. Just waiting, All right. for, just waiting for a few more people. You can kind of already tell where my main assault's going to come from. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're going to use your crossbows there. Yeah. Like, this is where the bulk of my army is. And then the other side is just to try and put more pressure on so you can't just... Oh, crap. Oh, was that a big hit? Oh, did it miss? Yeah, I missed. Oh, thank God. Just thank giving you a little warning shot. Yeah, don't Come worry. any closer. I, I felt that. Yeah, they, they missed on purpose, you know. Oh, I'm actually gonna get my general behind the wall. My units outside the city are gonna be hiding behind walls because I do not want to get sniped. Oh! oh. Yeah, there's. A, I don't know if you should put them on there. <laughs> there's like this weird glitch with Medieval 2. If I hit the walls, it burns your dwarves. Yeah, that's a bit silly. It's really silly. Um, I guess I should uh, start the assault. Even though it's good, you're actually sh wasted a t like two two volleys with your catapults to kill like five men. So I'm not really. I it's fine, man. I got plenty of ammo. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> and so it begins. Do, 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 do. 
That's my sound, so you know it's beginning. Oh, okay. Da, 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 da. Trying to take out the crossbow. Oh, you? by the way, I forgot to do my general's name. Oh, what are you gonna call him? I don't know. I'll probably just wait and just say he like was a captain and his leadership was good and he was promoted to. <laughs> oh, nice. Obviously, assuming you're gonna win. Uh, yeah, I yeah. am. How many men do you start off with in your spear unit? Uh, I've got. 91. Is that like the the beginning thing for it? I think so, yeah. All right. What are you gonna say? Send waves over? Where are my dragon slayers? Where did I put them? Oh, over here. Okay. Uh, please run, Iron Guard. Please run. Don't run. Walk. Go ahead and save this assault on the the left for a little while. All right, here we go. The battle music has begun. I would do loose formation too, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, you just don't have a room. No. The Iron God. Oh, nice, getting your wardens in. Hold, spears. The great axemen are here. Make sure I focus fire down on the maximum. They're gonna be the the difficult not to crack, I think. Yeah. Also, they have armor piercing. Yeah. For sure, that's gonna be uh, a bit annoying. But I have the men to do it, so. Yeah, you got a lot you of know, and My dwarves are really, really good at like breaking through in these tight formations because they have the shield wall, and if you form shield wall and then tell them to charge a unit behind, they just plow through, like you can see my men doing now. They're just plowing through your formation. Oh like yeah, they're, they're, that. they're really good at using their like uh, weight of numbers to um, to push for, through. My bows have taken out their uh, their swords. Oh nice. Because you keep pushing. Good, good job, boys. Push it. Push it real good. I am always happy. Yeah, they form like a nice little dent in there. That's Jeez, pretty cool. Yeah. The guards are kind of doing up uh, more. are here as well. Well, they are pushing you the hell back. Look at them go. On, on the right hand side, or like my side attack. Oh, yes. They are really pushing you. Uh, but if, if I do win this, like on the off chance I win this battle, I really, really want to go ahead and learn some of the stuff Foran says in, uh, in The Hobbit. <laughs> like some of his war chants, for sure. You should, yeah. So I can so I can say it whilst my dwarves are, are pushing on. And then I can like act like a smug elf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like when uh King Dane he's like, I'll take that that smug smile off your yeah. face or whatever he oh, says. That smirk. Yeah, I'm that sprite. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. You get a big hit. Uh, kind of, not really, but as long as I hit somebody with the catapult. Yeah. Oh, come on. So, like, yes, you are pushing through, but, like, look at this. I'm kind of attacking you on all sides. Yeah, for sure. So you're getting, like, a nice slanking bonus. Oh, beautiful. All right, whoa. Yeah, jeez. Not even paying attention over on the other flank. Jeez! What's the up? dragon slayers are breaking over there. Yeah, There's plenty more that came from, don't you worry. Good, good. We're definitely starting to push forward on this side though. Need to keep up the firing. Come on. Keep shooting away, just trying to put as much pressure on your units as possible. And if I can break through, that'll be pretty good. Oh my god, some men are some men are routing and they're coming through that fight. <laughs> yeah. Really funny. Oh, that was a oh. nice hit. You killed like a lot of your men. 
but you also I got did. a lot of mine. I think you got a lot more of mine than Oh, come on. Hold, elves. Hold. Yeah, that's what Do you Do not need. be afraid of the short legs and the stubbornness. I mean, luckily, I have a lot of men, so I can keep sending them. That's you know, true. As, as we said, I have an extra 500 more men than you. That is true. I've killed 23%. Nice. But you've killed 29%. Oh, Lord, that's... What is, what is that? Good. What I need to do is getting close as well, so that you can't really use your catapults that effectively. Yeah. Still, you get you are getting some nice hits, so... Come on. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Make sure I just keep on pushing. What are you doing, catapult? These are our homes! Yeah, we're definitely pushing in on this right side. This is the point I just need to keep on putting pressure on. But obviously you have your axemen there, which are going to be doing a very good job. I wish I committed more on one of the flanks now and not so much in the center. Come on, catapult. Oh, you have your swords now as well, don't you? Yeah. So they, are they performing as expected or...? Um, or I'm really the counting way. on the Axemen to, to break yeah. through your... God, on the other side, armor. I haven't really been attacking. There's just like a, a trail of dead bodies. Oh, yeah. From your, uh, from your men where I pushed through. With, uh, through. Oh, catapult, please. Yes. Come on, hold! And obviously a big part of this as well is if your... Uh, if your catapult gets some big hits, because if it doesn't, then it's not really doing much for you. No, it's not. I could have used, like, another unit of... Yeah, axemen. something. There we go. Alright, cool. Right, come on. Oh. Oh, that one right down my That's not that bad. I think you killed a lot of your men in the previous assault, in the previous shot, so. Yeah, it's the risk. Yeah, for sure. Well, you can kill these axemen. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. This is where it starts becoming a lot painful. <laughs> it becomes very painful. Come on, fire. What are you guys doing? No, don't walk back. Oh, they're breaking. Yeah, you just lent yourself to losing so many men from that catapult for no reason. God. <laughs> just slowly pushing through onto your... That's funny, just slowly pushing through I... trying to get to that catapult and you're just having to run it away. Only half the enemy force remains. Half your force remains. Oh my god. This is where we start using dwarven power and just use our, our weight in our armor and our strength. I know. This is amazing. Love the dwarf so much. This just personifies me in like just what I would want to be if I was in this in this universe. A dwarf? Yeah, just a badass just tank with a massive weapon just kicking the shit out of everyone. Oh my god, there's nothing I can do. I thought I had this one. Hey, it's definitely not over yet. Definitely not over. Ah, uh, it's it's getting there. Come on, fire! No way. It's still a long One way volley. Go. Oh my God, they're just standing there. Fire. The battle is very much in our favor. Come if on. If we remain true and steadfast, Iron Brow is ready to to take this victory. Screw you, Iron Brow. Hey, the undefeated Iron Brow. Yeah, I don't know, actually, I think I'm pretty sure he's lost quite a few battles. <laughs> he just, uh... <laughs> he just hasn't died in them battles. Because he's definitely lost a field battle, that's for sure. I think I beat you on this flank, though. Yeah, you've beaten me on, I think, on both flanks, actually. 
It's just, it just all depends if I can rush down here fast enough to get into the city center or not. If I can get out of this choke point and into uh, a solid position, I think I'll be, I think I'll be pretty good. Go elves, go! I just gotta hope my catapult misses my men. That's what it's yeah, come down to. For sure. Because I am definitely following way too many men into this. This little bit here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, thank god that missed. Oh my god, catapult. You're terrible. Thank god for that. Use your... Use your skill, elves. God. Uh, the percentages are coming close. Yeah, for sure. It, it really comes down to, I think, if your catapults can find oh. some big hits. No! No catapult. Because you've pretty much won on all the flanks, and once you've kind of won on one flank, you can definitely reinforce the rest. Come on. Catapult. Need you to kill a lot of dwarves. <laughs> Come on, boys. I mean, Iron Brown might even have to get involved in this. I'm going to wait until I've kind of knocked out that other catapult. Ooh, damn. Did um, I get a lot? Yeah, you killed like a whole... It's oh. only crossbowmen, but it's still crossbowmen. Oh, yeah. You lose your... Your, you know, miss your skirmishing capability. Yeah. No, and these crossbows are actually pretty half decent. Pretty, well, you pretty much got everything else engaged, though. You've only got one unit of archers actually shooting now. Yeah, it's my general unit, too. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, that'll hit a lot of crossbows as well. Nasty. But the guard, Nasty. The guards of Kazakh Doom are coming, so... Are they now? You have to be ready for oh, that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god, nice. real big catapult here, it's god. It's just so oh, awesome how it can just suddenly just, just change. change. Yeah, like, what's going on? I don't have a, I should have brought more axes. How many did you end up bringing? I brought like six or so, five. Yeah. Go 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 go, boys, go, 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 and I will give you guys a hundred pounds, a hundred British pounds. <laughs> oh, damn. Hold and I'll give you equivalent to the US dollar, which is like, <laughs> yes, what, a hundred and ninety or so? Something like that, but you are fighting with your general now, my, my god, yep. Kazakh Doom, so I wish you luck. I will need it. Oh, catapult, you suck. Come on, elves. I just need to get a chain route or something. Yeah, which I don't think is going to happen. And I can now shoot the general in the back with my crossbowmen as well. Yeah. No, Iron Brow's not being foolish. He's going to stay behind that, that part of um, a part of wool. So he doesn't get caught out. I still got an entire fresh unit of Kazakh, guard, uh, Kazakh Doom Guard coming up. <sighs> Come on, catapult! It's still really close. Look at the balance of the powers. Like this is going down to the, the wire for sure. Ah, uh, well, it's greatly in your favor. I wouldn't say it is that much in my favor. Like you can see how thin I am on that that center. It's, oh, oh. My God, that's a massive hit! Like the amount of kills your crossbowmen have got have definitely been helping you out. Oh! Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. I hate how you just push through. <laughs> hey, it's the joys of dwarves. They use their weight to, uh, to push past. It's garbage. It's not garbage. It's, my it's garbage. Being, it's my men being stronger than you. Fire. Our men are winning the battle. At we least you don't have to worry like about we your men routing the because they're gonna be in the city center. Yeah, it's true. See, so got that going. 
Iron Brow is moving up now that we've knocked out the catapults or pretty much knocked them out. Kind of. We just. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. This is gonna be a defeat. Yeah, it's really been because of the money as well. You think I had 7k more than Even you. though, like, I thought I had this one. 7k is a lot of money though. You think how many upgrades I can actually get with that? Like, it's still how, not over, I guess. Extra units. Yeah, for sure. You can definitely win this. If I can get a chain round. Yeah, that's all it is. But, you know, the, these, these are professional dwarfs. They're very unlikely to actually bow. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, I know. My general's all bloodied up. The, this, these are not mindless orcs. That's true. <laughs> Damn. But you just, this is another testament, though, to the elves and how strong they can actually be in this game. Yeah, the elves are definitely strong. I have 7,000 more gold than you, and I have not got much left whatsoever. I'm going to have to get a chain route. That's what it's going to come down to. Come on, look at my general all bloodied up. Right in the thick of the fight. Come on, elves. Do not be afraid. I mean, just like I, I am browsing in the midst of this battle, you know? Oh, in a phone call. Maybe she should answer it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'm busy. <laughs> getting wrecked at tug of war. I'm not getting. <laughs> just wait until I get in. So just wait. Yeah, I can't wait for next battle. Oh, my general died. Nice. But it doesn't matter. Because yeah, it doesn't. Because I have infinite morale. Yeah. So it's just numbers, basically. And you still have a very good chance of killing my general, so. Yeah. And if you lose your general, yeah, that, like that's I, I literally huge. only have infantry-wise 150 dudes left, probably. I still have like 70 catapult, I mean, uh, 70 crossbowmen left and stuff like that. But... Come on. No! Iron Brow is definitely starting to lose men. No! Cannot let you fire. One cap yeah. on the top would this game. Yeah, no one volley. Damn, what a bloodshed. Yeah. It's a pretty epic battle. I'm sad I couldn't zoom in and watch more of the fighting. <sighs> But, like, if you can watch it from my point of view, look how much I have. I have my general unit, which is 53 men, 65 guards of Kazakh Doom, one iron guard, and then, like, 80 crossbowmen, maybe close to, yeah, closer to 100 crossbowmen. Like, that's Jeez. not a lot at all. I thought I had this one, too, and this is for a ton of money. Yes, yeah, 7k. I needed that money. And you lost your general as well. Oh, is, yeah, that's right. Which yeah. is pretty brutal. Yeah. So I'm going to have a massive gold going into the next round. And I'm going to need it because you have ends. Um, yeah, I'll see what I can do with those ends. It's yeah, going to be... Sure. Uh, I can start getting on my way to Ballista. And then our men have taken control I'll go ahead and get system. Ballista. Then I'll get Catapults. Justice. And then even if you beat me back no on the next map, you still have to city. take this from me. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to so, take it from... Oh, like, God. That's going to be hard. This is definitely an uphill battle. It's going to be brutal. You need yeah. your ends to really be effective. Yeah, that's why I was hoping I'd win this so I didn't, I didn't have to take it back. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, you need your ends to be super strong for sure. God. And just have, you have to use them perfectly, I think. That's crazy. That is crazy. I can't believe I lost. Dwarven power. I mean, not much I could have done there. Maybe bring less archers. Because I feel like my archers didn't really do anything for me. Not really. Because my dwarves are so good at pushing through your lines, it's kind of, I guess, yeah. you know, a lot harder for you to actually be, be more effective. Because you're not shooting directly at them as well. You're having to shoot up over your men. Yeah. So and you have a lot of armor, so it's like yeah. almost does nothing yeah. to you. Whereas axemen are anti-armor, so they're, yeah. they're more likely to do well. They, they definitely they wreck my dragon slayers. But it's just when they start coming up against like Iron Guard and Guard and Kazakh Doom, they have a bit of trouble. 
But still, like, against Dragon Slayers, they do a really good job. Is there no one else? Is that everyone? Oh, it's, uh, guys. it's a lone, lone uh, artillery crewman who's going ham. Look at him. Look at him. Come on. No. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, he's yeah, dead. He's down. Oh, wait. I have a... What? Where's this guy? Oh, I... oh, yes. There's a little duel over here. Look at it. Oh, my God. You got a spear versus uh, God, guards of Come on. Wrecked. He's just getting... Take it. He's getting destroyed. Take something. Look at him. Stabby, stabby. Oh, the damn armor protecting him. Yeah, look how many stabs he's getting off. Yeah, let's just fast forward. <laughs> yeah, my dude's getting bloody as hell. Oh, there you go. He's striking back. There now. we go. Two oh. hits, three hits. Bastard. The rest of his boys are turning up. <laughs> oh. Getting boys. Going out like a champ. <laughs> yeah, he's taking a pound in Google. I wish all of my spearmen were like that. Oh, man. I'm all right. I'm down the battlefield now. Look at that. That was ridiculous. Yeah, holy crap, look how many troops you had. Yep, I had a lot. We said 500. But we lost similar amounts, so your elves killed like one for one every single yeah. time. Pretty yeah, much, yeah, they killed so. a lot, it just wasn't enough. My yeah. catapults got over 100 kill, yeah. kills. And a, a, lot, a lot of, I actually lost a lot more men than that, I think. It's just some of them obviously um, heal after the battle. Yeah, a whole yeah, bunch yeah. of my men healed after the battle, so I have a lot well, less men than it shows. Well, this tug of war might be coming to a close. He's going to push my citadel, and it's going to be for everything. So, uh, yeah, you oh. won the 7,560 oh gold. <laughs> so much money. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll just wrap it up here. It's going to be pretty epic, the next one. So we'll yeah, you, we sure. will see you then. Peace.